Hello everyone, this is John and welcome to lesson 16. Today we're going to study the eighth note. Remember, we already studied the whole note which lasts for four beats. One, two, three, four. And then we study the half note which lasts for two beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we studied also the uh, quarter note, which lasts for only one beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Today is the eighth note. The eighth note is the smallest of all of the notes we have studied. It only takes half of a beat. Just half which means in every beat, we're going to play two eighth notes. Something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Remember we used to do one, two, three. Now we're doing one, two, three, we're playing two notes in one beat. The way I like to count this to guide myself is I like to add the word N, A-N-D, N. So I do one, N, two, N, three, N, four. When you write the music, you're not gonna see the N, you're going to see a plus to guide you, like this example. One plus two plus three plus four plus one plus two plus three plus four plus. Let's do it again. Instead of the plus, you can do the N. Remember the N? Let's play this example one more time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right. So that's how you play the eighth notes. You have to play two every time there's a beat. Let's play another example so you, you'll have this down really well. This example is a little bit faster. It's 70 beats per minute. One and two and three and four and 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 all right, so it is super easy. Remember, whole notes, four beats. One, two, three, four. Half notes, two beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Quarter notes, one beat. One, two, three, four. And then we have eight notes, which takes half of a beat. And it sounds like, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and all right we have studied four notes and this is plenty of notes and we can make plenty of material for you to practice and that's what we're going to do my goal is that you practice the course we have already studied g c and d and then you practice your notes, the duration in time, half, quarter, whole, eighth notes. All right, we have prepared exercises that you can practice, practice and practice. All right, the next class is lesson 17 and we're going to study strumming, very important, strumming. How do we strum that guitar and what would be the right technique when you are learning the guitar? So I will see you in lesson 17 Thank you for being here with me. I really appreciate you. Have a blessed day. Uh, be good. And I'll see you in our next class. Bye-bye.